ago. Shalom, brother. Shalom. What's going on here? We are using Dutch ovens to prepare food for Shabbat. So you want to show me one? Uh, yeah, here's one. There's one right there. And there's ashes on the top, brother Hanser. Why are there ashes on there? So that it'll um, warm up inside. So was it coals? It's still coals. It's kind of it's kind of red right there. Mm -hmm. And are there some underneath? Mm -hmm. Right down there? All right. So this bakes, these Dutch ovens bake the food inside just like an oven. It's a portable oven is what it is. And this one has chili in it. Awesome. And we are doing this as a community meal on a Shabbat evening because we can, if we needed to, <laughs> if we needed to, we can eat them now. But our intent is to eat these tomorrow. But the meal is already ready in there and all it needs is warmed up. Do we have other things cooked? Yes. Yes. Um, Pastor Joe, we have two others that are already done. And they sat around for like an hour maybe. So here is a venison roast with vegetables already done. And then this is a pot roast. Cooked in a different style. Uh, different, st go ahead, different style dough. And the one Dutch oven over there has legs on it. Um, and this one is flat on the bottom, which can also be put in a regular oven. And so is this one. This one does not have the indented top. We put coals on it anyway, but this one is made to hold those coals on top so that it cooks all the way through. And you can stack these. If you wanted to, you could make a Dutch oven meal and have biscuits in one Dutch oven, your main meal in another, and your dessert, a lot of times people make a dump cake, which is just cake mix, butter, and, f and a canned fruit in your other one. And have the whole thing stacked up on top and all cooking all at the same time. Also, very important when doing Dutch oven cooking, you have to have one of these. This is a very hot fire. The brothers worked on it, even though it's raining today. And you brother have to Tristan get a... Brother Tristan built it in the rain. Yes, Brother Tristan and Brother Travis built it in the rain. And it has to get good coals, so then you put the coals, this is where a Dutch oven was, under it and on that rock, so the rock uh, makes the heat come up, and also on the top, as we mentioned before. And then right over here, if you're going to Dutch oven cook, you need one of these. This is a tool. It's from St. George, Utah. It's patented. The one end, you lift the handle of the Dutch oven this way, so you can lift it out of the fire and put it back into fire and things. This end, as you've already seen, goes under that handle and can lift the lid up. And then this one, you can hold it for when you're lifting also. So there you have it. This is our Shabbat on Shofar. Shalom!